Good morning, everybody. My name is Bhante Dr. Chandiba, and today we are going to uh, have a discussion plus an interview with uh, Uncle Vijay Samar Vikrama, who is fondly called as Uncle Vijay. Thanks to BGF Buddhist Gem Fellowship for inviting me uh, to interview uh, this gentleman. So, Uncle Vijay, uh, happy to be here. Good morning, Bhante. I feel very honored to be in your presence. <laughs> All right. So, just to paraphrase Uncle Vijay's, uh, uh, I would say, a short bio, I would say he acquired his uh, BA degree in English from the University of Malaya and he acquired uh, an MA from the University of Hawaii. And also, he uh, later on he pursued a teaching certificate from the University of Liverpool. And he is uh, a very famous uh, Dharma speaker uh, and an admin person across the uh, Buddhist centers in Malaysia and Singapore, maybe uh, elsewhere too. So very happy, uh, very happy uh, to do this interview and discussion. Um, all right, so our topic is going to be the misconceptions of uh, karma, a Buddhist perspective. I would say that uh, misconceptions of karma and not even misconceptions topic of karma has been evolving uh, for centuries across uh, ancient uh, Indian traditions. So uh, let's get started by understanding what is karma in general and then we'll slowly uh, navigate through the Buddhist karma. What is Buddhist karma? There's a long discussion that is going around uh, karma. Uh, across uh, Indian traditions, uh, I would say Hinduism, Jainism, yes. uh, Sikhism. Now we are, we are talking from a Buddhist perspective, clear about the Buddhist perspective. Yes. So, what do you think about what karma in Buddhism uh, means? Yeah. And they, uh, I think it's important. Uh, well, I think a lot of people don't really understand the meaning, the word karma. It has actually become an English word now. It's in the English dictionary, karma. But uh, to my mind, this understanding of karma is always very negative. Like when you talk about karma, you usually uh, associate it with bad things. But I think in a Buddhist point of view, this is not so at all. Uh, Bhante, you mentioned just now that uh, karma uh, was a well-known uh, phenomenon of, of understanding in the Hindu background. During the Buddha's time already, there was an understanding of karma as it relates to happiness and suffering. Right? And why are people happy? Why do people suffer? That was tied up with, with karma and basically in the Indian context at that time, Bhante mentioned the Jains and the <clears throat> other philosophies that of the heretical views that existed at that time. And uh, this uh, understanding of karma was that there were three possible causes of karma. One is that it is the uh, caused by past actions. All karma is due to past actions. And whatever we must do to become happy, we must remove those past actions. And there were different ways, different views in which that could be done. The next one was that there was a supreme God, one who is responsible for everything that happens in the world. And happiness and suffering was therefore tied up with the uh, will of this God. And pleasing this God was uh, one way of creating happiness. And the third view, very modern I would think, was that there's no such thing as karma, there's no such thing as anything. Everything is accidental. So whether you are happy or sad or whatever, you are born, you go through life, you die, doesn't matter. You kill your mother, it doesn't matter. No, no responsibility because everything. The Buddha rejected all of these three. Yeah? On the grounds that if you 
blame an outside source for one any of the things that happen to you, then you have no moral responsibility. You have no, there is no spiritual life that is necessary. So the Buddha insisted that karma, maybe there are elements of all of these, but more than anything, when it comes to Buddhist uh, uh, understanding of karma, this karma is not, we are not the product of a karma. We are not victims of karma. We are not the result of karma alone. The difference is that we have the right. We have the power. We have the strength. We have the intelligence because we are manusha, that which has a mind. All right? And the, 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 the Buddha says that we can take it in our own hands to direct karma. So that makes us useful, that makes us have meaning in life. As humans, the Buddha gave us that understanding. The, the Buddha gave us that understanding that we are masters of our own karma. I think to me, my mind that is the difference between other understandings of karma as mere victims to those who says yes, we inherited all of this, we got born into an unhappy situation as manusia, as, as human beings, but it is within our power. And the Eightfold Path yeah, leads directly to how it can be done. The Buddha not only rejected this total belief in, uh, in fatalism, but he also gave us a way out. I think this is Buddha's direct uh, contribution to the greatness of the human race.